hello everyone assalamu alaikum i hope you all are well so today's vlog is a dawah i have a few families coming over there's um, a few young boys as well teenagers who will be also included in the in the dinner that i'm hosting tonight so i made a rough draft drawing of what i'm making and where it will be um etc um, I will admit that I actually ended up cancelling one or two things. Anyway, I'm drinking my coffee. It's quite early in the morning and the first thing I did was, um, well, the last thing I did last night, I made the dough for the bread rings. I will share this um, recipe um, link in the caption below. Tiramisu is the dessert that i will be serving i was trying to decide which of the two trays to use in the end i used this one i'm going to be using these sponge fingers and in the bowl i'm going to start off by making the the filling adding the mascarpone cheese the double cream the vanilla and the sugar and um, this is an eggless tiramisu no alcohol and it's a very very good recipe the recipe as i suggested will be in the link description below and here i have the sponge fingers and i'm going to dip them in the coffee that i've made and then i'm going to get a piping bag and just pipe the filling around the edges in little balls like this this will give a really nice neat look it doesn't need to be terribly neat you can see I've made a few mistakes um, I was trying to figure out what to do but I spontaneously decided to do this design um, I think it will look fabulous let me know what you think as well so in the middle of course no one will be able to see this so I just spread it with my spatula and then I do another layer of the sponge fingers I dip them in the coffee and then place them on top I had about three layers of these sponge fingers I used about two packets of the sponge fingers just to give you an idea this was the right amount of tiramisu that I made because you know we had no leftovers um, I couldn't fit some of um, the leftover cream and coffee so I made a little bowl separately and here I am just dusting it with um, cocoa powder and also some gold as well just to give it a bit of dazzle so I have a list of items and I'm crossing them as I go along Next, I'm going to move on to making the apple crumble. My mum was round, so she helped me cut up all these apples. I'm going, I usually cook my apples slightly and add in the sugar and some cinnamon as well. I've been making the, this apple crumble like this for many years now, many years. It's always such a favorite. So as you can see, I'm just going to mix thoroughly and let it cook for about 10 minutes or so. And meanwhile, I'm going to make the crumble. So I have the flour, the butter and the sugar. I'm going to add in a bit of cinnamon and just chop this. Next, I'll use my fingers to make the crumble. Now going back to the apples, the liquid has almost dried. I don't want to dry it up too much. So I'm going to pour this into a pan and spread it. And then once I flatten it out so it's a bit even, I'm going to top it up with the crumble mixture that I just made, like so. And make sure it's all evenly spread. I'll pop that into the oven just before serving. So next we are going to make a zesty grilled chicken. So for this, 
we will need. For the marinade, you will be needing garlic paste, mustard paste, red chilli powder, paprika powder, thyme, black pepper powder, salt, garam masala and cardamom and some whole red chillies. We also need onions, oranges and some oil and we're just going to blend this all in in a blender to make a nice smooth paste and then we'll marinate and let the chicken sit in it for at least one hour. So as I said that you will need to marinate your chicken with the marinade that we've just made and I'm just making some deep cuts into the chicken so that the sauce can get right through into the centre and massage this in. And then of course as I said leave this for about at least one hour to marinate. Next I'm going to take a hot griddle pan and I'm going to add some oil and then the chicken. I'll just char grill this on all sides and then add this to a large baking tray and then add in the sauce, leftover sauce that the chicken was getting marinated in. Cover the chicken with foil and bake in the oven for at least another hour until it's cooked. So next we are going to make chopper chicken which is a Chinese type of chicken and chicken chopper rice as well. We're going to first of all start off with making a base for this dish which is Szechuan sauce. If you have this then use this then you don't need to um, do this step but I am making this from scratch. Um, it has red chilli, ginger, garlic, salt, black pepper and some vinegar and a little bit of oil as well and you just blend this with some water. I'm going to put this paste aside and use later on. Now I didn't have chicken mince so I just blended it and mince is made like this. This is how I make my chicken mix mince at home. Now I'm going to throw in some eggs into this chicken mince. This chicken is going to be divided into both the chicken sauce and into the rice. I'm going to chop up some fresh garlic and fresh ginger, add this to the pan and give that a quick stir. So first of all I'm making the gravy so I reserved some of the chicken to use later on in the rice. Here I'm use, making the sauce, the gravy. I'm adding soya sauce and the Sichuan sauce as well to this chicken. Just going to mix this through and cook it. Add in some ketchup as well. I'm going to add in some spring onions that I've chopped and mix this thoroughly and last but not least add in some corn flour that was mixed in with some water and let it cook. Next I'm going to make the rice so in, an, in a pan I've added the oil I've cooked in the remainder of the chicken that I had set aside I set aside one third of the chicken that I've got listed down beneath so here again I'm adding some garlic I've added some chopped carrots, you can use whatever vegetables you like, some chopped spring onions, black pepper and 
the chicken mince that I've just cooked as well just cook that through adding in some green capsicum I'm going to put this aside and what I will do is make add this mixture into the rice so I'm adding in the boiled rice into that same pan and then adding that mixture that we just made back into the rice to make the Chinese rice. Now you can see that I made a very large bowl so I had to do this in bits. My son is now helping me tidy up just before the guests arrive. I'm quickly setting up the table. I'm doing it more of a buffet style rather than a sit down, you know, meal. Um, because there are a number of people, lots of kids, so they can just sort of grab a plate, fill it up and walk around wherever they feel like. I bought these table runners from, I think I bought them from Primark. Um, these tear um, bowls that you'll see, the silver stand, the bowls I'm just adding them in now. This I got from Saudi. Uh, so I'm just going to add in my rice and stuff so I've set it all up so and I've put some things out and here is the final almost the final look and this drink that I made as well and my guests are just about to come in and eat I've got bread ring there and the nachos and the pasta as well anyway I hope you enjoyed this vlog um, and I hope to see you in the next video let me know what you thought about this video. Thank you.